Well, hello there. This is Colonial Puppet, and this is part four of the Kitty Horror Show Games Collection to celebrate the uh, the impending Halloween that is upon us. Uh, as you can see, this isn't Gloom Puke. Last episode we played Gloom Puke, and I kind of left it on an open-ended uh, ending, I guess you could say. Uh, did the game progress from where we left off, or 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 was that it? And uh, I did some extensive research on the inter on the internet, and uh, that's that was the whole game. So uh, <laughs> we're now on Monastery. This is the second game in the second pack of games that I downloaded uh, a year ago about and uh, forgot about until now. And uh, right off the bat. It kind of reminds me of the uh, the hallway uh, screensaver from Windows 95 or Windows 98, whichever one. Got some uh, convincing torches, some nice uh, paintings, and uh, yeah, let's, let's let's play this game. Uh, thank you to the to the three people who watch these. Um, I know most people are here on this channel for Minecraft content, but bear with me. Uh, I have a soft spot for indie, silly, uh, spooky games. So let me indulge myself, and I promise you there will be more video games to come, or more Minecraft videos to come. Anyway, let's just, let's just traverse this place, shall we? So we got an arrow. Can I... Ooh, we got a door. We have a mess hall of some sort. And uh, once again, we're in the um, MS-DOS era. No looking around with the cursor. You picked up the old knife. Press enter to continue. Sweet, so we got, we've got we armed ourselves. Got some c candles, got some bratwurst. Oh, no, that's... You slice into the grub. A jet of warm hemolymph. <laughs> I can't read. Bathes your wrists. Or wrist. The grub attempts to grasp your fingers. You continue cutting until there is only viscera. And the ruins of the grub's body is a faded metal key. Ooh, so we got a key. Uh, it's labeled infirmary. So we got an infirmary key and a rusty old knife. That's good. Uh, what is this note here? 10 BU meal. I don't know what unit of measurement that is. 10 BU of mealworms, 10 BU of leeches, 10 BU of fresh maggots, 10 BU of silkworm larva, 10 BU of night crawlers, and 10 BU of black soil. We, we, uh, or 50 BU. So everything's 10 except for the black soil. So we're loaded right now. I'm guessing that's what's in here. Uh, we have enough inventory to start a small business. Nothing on this table. Just bottles. Bottles and plates. What is this? Where does... Oh, did I miss this door? Is this where we first started? Uh, oh no, I know where we are. Okay. So, just so I get my bearings, I, I, I feel like I do a lot of backtracking in this game. But, uh, this should be where we started. Yes, it is. Okay. I wanted to make sure. Because I get <laughs> discombobulated very easily. So, we should be going this way. The door we entered was there. And, uh,. And now we're here. I shan't miss another door. What is this? Is this the infirmary? Oh, no, we're at... Wait. How does that work? Okay. We're outside, it seems. Uh, these games don't seem to have any enemies... It seems, which is like fine by me. Oh, we've come upon a grave site. 
the grave marker. The inscription reads, Brother Lumbricious. All right. Uh, the inscription reads, Sister Periflana. Perif, per, para, para uh, this one bears no inscription. Uh-oh. What about this one? Brother Califor. Got some eclectic names. Let's see if there's anything else hiding in the wood. In the yonder wood. Ah, yes. We've got a uh, the statue of hate, mother of the hive, goddess of fury, plague wings, death, plague wings, death, and stinging insects. Her wings appear to be crafted from shards of some fine red crystal or glass. Sounds like something uh, William Defoe would read in uh, The Lighthouse, or say in The Lighthouse. Which is why I did that horrible impression. Uh, there is a door here. Let me turn down the volume. So this should take us back to where we started. Yes. Okay. So at least my sense of direction isn't horrible. Let's go back the way we came, though. Let's wait for that. Let's see if there's anything on this side. I like these paintings. They're very nice. What is what is what is down here? Any doors? Doesn't seem to be any doors on this end. So uh, let's just go down the hallway to the right. See what's uh, see what's afoot. Okay, we've got two doors. An odd compulsion stops you in your tracks. You drop to one knee and begin painting. Your vision clouds over. It feels like termites are crawling across the surface of your eyes. You go blind for but a moment. Then the sensation passes. You stand and catch your breath. All right. What did I paint? That's the question. Too bad I can't look down. That would be very helpful. The door's closed. Maybe if I back up. Oh, there's no painting. Anything, uh... <laughs> I like the, uh, the pillars are just kind of slabs of... Oh. Nothing. What about here? That one don't open. Oh, we got something on that nightstand. Do you open? And you really got a stand. Mother is coming to visit. I'm so excited. I haven't seen Mother in a long, 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 long time. So this person is excited to see Mother. Maybe they have something in their trunk. Aha! Yes. What's in here? Um, maybe I can look down. Am I just dumb? Is there a way to look down? I would like to see what's in this. Now I'm curious. How do I look down? Oh! Oh! Okay. So it's page up and page down. Oh no. Did not know that. There's something over there too. Ooh. Ooh what's that? Got a key. Chapel. Okay. Anything in here? Nothing. I take it there's something in this one. 
because it's the only illuminated one. Anything? No. What about you? Nope. Ah, oh, ooh, he got a secret message. We put down Brother Limbricious today. His change came, but was inadequate. He was given no weapons with which to carry out her will. His soul must have been weak, and yet he always seemed so devout. I begin to fear for my own change, to think that I too might become something weak, something crawling and helpless. I can only pray she will deem me worthy. I have worked so very hard. Yeah, haven't we all, buddy? All right, so that's the uh, the sleeping quarters. Seems we've, and I want to make sure I didn't miss anything in here, because I don't think I figured out how to. Yeah, nothing. All right, so we got two keys and a rusty knife. Man can make a mighty fine living on such things. The door's locked. Hmm. And I wonder. If I press I for inventory, nothing. I hope I don't have to do something to activate the keys I have and that I just... I hope I just haven't found that key yet. <laughs> Uh-oh. Someone's having a rough go. Ooh. Ooh. Yum. Oh, what do we got? All indoctrinations hitherto successful. Stability of brother service questionable. No other outstanding concerns. Halfway metamorphosis all ideal, barring those weak souls we put down. She looks upon us with great favor. Ours will be a triumph for her arrival. All right. Got some some nice drawings. Uh, let's see if there's anything on the bookshelf we can surmise. No. I got all these beds. So I'm guessing one, two, three, four, five beds. One, two, three, four, five uh, things. Uh, no, I never mind. I just can't count. Ooh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Various surgical implements are arrayed across the counter. They have been poorly maintained, and every one is completely drenched in thin, runny red fluid. I'm guessing that's blood. Among them is a slender glass knife of exquisite make. You take that. Yeah, fuck yeah. Anyway, let's see. Page up. Can I click on you? The corner of the infirmary is filled with hanging chrysalides. They throb and pulse with shifting, changing, growing life apart from one exception. They appear fragile, so near to the end of their metamorphosis. You dare not move too near. Now yeah, I'm gonna get up all in that all in that chrysalis action. Uh oh, looks like one of them. Uh, one of them is, uh, is empty. Maybe that was the screaming we heard. Perhaps it was the screams. Ooh, this is the chapel. So we open this with a key. Is this a key? No, it looks like a, someone was doing some gardening. We picked up the trowel. Okay. Oh god, I hope I don't have to enter my inventory. Because I have no idea how, man. The word sermon is written across the top of the page. At the center of the page, a centipede appears to have been chopped into pieces. Its fluids have long since dried into the paper. Uh-oh. Whoa. What was that? Anywho. So. 
I totally forget where I where I went. I think I went through here, correct? This door is seething. You flatten your hands to the wood and feel a deep shuddering, some cruel energy enervating the material in the palms of your hands. There is no knob or handle. The center of the door is a metal panel with three thin slots. Okay. So I take it that's off limits for now. We went in here, correct? Yeah, that's the pulsating room. Um, <clears throat> is this the outside? Yeah, this is the outside. I wonder if anything's changed. Nope. Am I missing a key of some sort? Oh, do you know what? Didn't I get a key recently? So I came through here. Went down here. I'm missing a door somewhere. Perhaps I'm missing a door. Not in this room, though. I don't want to mess with this room. Did I miss anything in the chapel? No. No, I did not. So, I'm at a... I'm at a loss. Do I... I guess I go this way. Because I know there was... Doors locked. I know that, but... Perhaps I missed something. Yeah, it's still locked. Um, yeah, I don't know. Went down there. Perhaps I missed the door on this side. Ah, yes. Ooh, a book. The heavy tome is marked in several places. You open to the first marking. The passage reads, On her wings rode fury and venom and violent irreparable change. The sky shivered with her birth, and the horizon was pregnant with the mounds of her children. To the second marking, there is a passage that reads, Her children were not of weak flesh, nor dull hand, nor small grasping mouth. Her children had skin of armor, and lances filled with venom, and cleaving jaws, and their minds were a chorus jubilant and unified and she loved them, and they were all that she loved. Okay. The third marking. There is a passage that reads, Most of her children came with her from the wound in the sky, but there was some among the fleshy ranks of men that she saw as worthy and raised up, and they drank up full of her bile, and their bodies were changed to better serve her seething anger. Fourth marking. There is a passage that reads, And when she had combed the herds for her new disciples, and her ranks had swelled to her liking, wings opened across the earth, and the sky drew back in horror as her children filled it, and the morning saw a world that had been matted down to the soil by blood. To find him, but there's no passage, at least not written. A thin iron key has been wedged between the pages. Here it's labeled reads library. You pocket the key and set down the heavy volume. Haha, -ha, so we got the key for that 
Hopefully for that locked door. Um, yeah. What's this? Page filled with erratic scrawling. The words skin and shred and drink and writhe are repeated many times. Hmm. Okay. Any more? Page copied from some holy text. It describes cicadas hooking their claws into the bark of trees and ripping themselves out of old carapaces. The description is malefish. Malef. Lewis. <laughs> Mellifluous, mellifluous, I can't read. Borderline pornographic, mmm, yum. Cicada porn, my favorite. Page copy from some holy day. It describes parasites burrowing into the organs of soft mammals and the glorious jubilation of their feeding. Also pornographic. Describes a hive queen swelling to an impossible size. The whole mountain's hollowed out by drones and filled with larvae. And equally pornographic. So, th thou must wonder. Have we been in here? Oh, is this the first place we were in? Yeah, this is the first place we were in. Okay, so uh, we know now where we must go, I believe. We must go in here. Me thinketh. This is the, the library. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, there's so much to read. Ritual invocation. Its purpose seems to be changing the color of the sky to create an environment more suitable for the invitation of car carnivorous deities. Hmm. Okay. Um. I'm glad I picked that out. Ooh. You look. You open to a random page. The boy came to a clearing where a great bloated tick wallowed in the shadow in a shadow pond and he found that he could not speak for she had filled his mouth with leeches. I remember this book. This is from grandmother. You come to the kingdom. Yes. Yes. The tongues, the worms will twist themselves. Remember this, guys? Episode one. Come on, guys, you know that the mother whose head was full of tattered king's perverted songs shut the girl in the attic where blood dripped from between the teeth of the mad-eyed rocking horse and the spider laughed like murderers? I'm not the only one remembering this, right? He opened her and the priestess sank into the mud, I remember, which whispered to her as it filled her ears, and she felt his oils and secrets slide across the wrinkled flesh of her brain. And she shivered, and the knife burrowed under her ribs. Who could forget? The man walked, driven like cattle, by the tower's groans, and with each step he took, a new worm penetrated the sole of his foot, until he was not but a suit of skin, for their family teeming and boiling at the holes of his eyes. Yeah, okay, so that repeats... Anything else? Ah, uh, we got table of correspondence associating various invertebrates with respective planets, precious metals, and acidic liquids. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? I got one more. Manifest of books, scrolls, and texts procured within the last month. Among them is a tome apparently recovered from a ruined farmhouse, an illuminated manuscript above the hive, and a rite of invitation. Doth thou need that? A hive, eh? Does anything look like a hive here? It kind of does. Is 
to talk about this one is because uh, we read that one. Perhaps. I don't know. Any hoot. Let's see. What was in here again? Hmm. Oh, it's very quiet now. are still doing their thing. Well. I hope this isn't where it ends. Yeah, nothing's changed there. Maybe we should go. Oh, I don't like how they close behind you. Um, you know what I never tried to do? Uh, I never tried to open the door we started with. Me wonders if that be something I should fucking try and do. pair of heavy wooden doors leading out of the monastery. They refuse to budge, though they don't appear to be locked. They seem to have been barred from the outside. From without, you can hear the sky shake with babbling and coherent screams, and the sky pounds like a timpani with the beating of massive wings. So this reminds me of Resident Evil 4, like the bug, the bug level. The Novisitors, or whatever they're called. So, we did everything there is to do, I believe. Could be wrong. Could have missed something. But, uh... I, I think we've, we've I think we've hit just about every room in this uh, this place. You know, perhaps when we go outside again, things will be a little bit different. So let's do that now. See what's awaiting us. Eh, still spooky. Do you have anything else to tell me? Perhaps. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, there are these guys. Maybe I can, like... You dig up the grave! You dig up the grave, you uncover the body of a man with the eyes and arms of a fly. His mouth is flaccid. Mm. Graying tube of, sh of solo flesh. He appears to have been stabbed in the chest. Okay. Oh, we should have done this. Dig up the grave. It proves to contain not a body, but a small thin glass knife wrapped in a skull scrap of old cloth. You pocket the knife. Man, I, I have so many knives. You dig up the grave, you uncover the body of a woman with the legs of segmented and segmented underbelly of a cockroach. She appears to have been stabbed in the chest. Man, all these poor people have been stabbed. Just because they're ugly. 
You dig up the grave, you uncover the body of a man with no eyes, whose skin is slick and translucent from the head to toe. He appears to have been stabbed in the chest. <laughs> uh, they were not creative. How to kill these people. So I got a knife. Now is it enough to fucking open this door, man? Maybe I have to click. I feel like this is something that needs to be, uh, like inventory. Let me see if I can get into my inventory. All right, so there's no way to access an inventory, which I kind of figured, you know, being the genius that I am. Got those. Is this the door? What is this? Oh, that's to the outside. Dug up the bodies. Um, what are we missing? That hive thing. Like, I would think the yellow. Yellow. Let's just click. If there's no, uh, oh. ladies and gentlemen, I think we've done it. You picked up a slender knife. The handle feels slick and it numbs your fingers. Okay. So we got that. Do 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 other ones and do other ones do that? <gasps> that one might. Are there more? No. So we got, we have so many knives, my dude. Uh, has anything changed in any of these rooms? So things, so there's definitely an end game to this. Am I right? I'm intrigued. Just found a... Th these knives can't be for nothing. You know? Have we been down here? Can I finally... Ah, <gasps> yes! You gather up the three glass knives and slide them one by one into the slots. Each produces a slow... Vicious, vicious gout. Is it viscous or, or or vicious? I think it's viscous. Gout of watery red ichor. The knives dissolve. Their handles drop to the floor and the door begins to slide upward into the ceiling. Oh boy. Hello? Housekeeping. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to go through there, but I just want to click around. Here we go. The door's massive, sturdy, slick with the same red watery fluid that seems to coat everything in this place. Beyond it, you can hear wind, the rustling of leaves, and a high, constant droning that makes your chest feel hollow. You pull the door open and step through. Ooh. The monastery is no more. One would assume I should walk forward from the door. Well, I'm spooked. I hope you guys are spooked. <laughs> Listen to that sound. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I would have noticed it unless you said something. Listen to that baby purr. Full and bright and incessant. Yeah, you sold me on the sounds.
Uh, a thousand million pale thin wings. I get it. Oh, you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> oh, All of them years. Oh, thanks. Oh. You honor us. <laughs> and there you have it. Uh, that was Monastery. Uh, this is a, a long episode, but I think it was worth it. We finished the whole game. Uh, this has, uh, this has been Colonial Puppet. Be sure to check out the next episode when it comes out. And the previous episode, if you'd like to follow along, the next game is called Roads. It is number three in the game pack that I got. There's two more roads and Scarlet Bug or Bow. B O U G H. Scarlet Bog. Anyway, happy Halloween, even though it's not Halloween yet. Be sure to check out the next episode when it comes out in the previous episodes if you would like to follow along. And other than that, this has been Colonial Puppet. Have a spooky day.